From this point on, we're now going to be discussing how to show proposed contours or finished grading on a field that is sloping. So we're going to match existing terrain. We're going to use the same bed size and the same bed configuration on the same terrain that we used for the flat field. Only this time, our proposed contours have to be generated in uh, a slightly different way. But what is similar between the two processes is that we want to start by drawing a rectangle representing the outermost edges of the field. So now we have our polyline that represents the outer edge of the pipe. And again, in New Hampshire, we need to maintain a five foot fill extension beyond the edge of the pipe before we transition to five uh, to the three to one slope. So let's do that. So this represents the point at which three to one slopes can begin. I like to explode this polyline because we're not actually going to use these lines as part of our finished grading. So let's change these three, the two sides and the downslope line, to a different color. We will, however, use this line, which is five feet from the edge of the field. That will represent um, a contour that will show on the finished plan. I'm going to also explode the original polyline and I'm going to extend this line which represents the 105 over the field to the 5 foot border or fill, limit of the 5 foot fill extension. So we now have the 105 contour that must extend at least one uh, out five feet beyond the edge of the field. So how do we connect these two proposed contours? Well AutoCAD makes it pretty easy. Choose the fillet command and because the two lines are parallel and the same length and it goes without saying that they have to be at the same elevation you can select the ends of both of those parallel lines and it will provide a full fillet. Now that represents the 105 contour around the field. Now are we going to leave it that way? No. But I always begin this way because we can trim away um, we can trim away these proposed contours uh, at a later time and this will help us stay focused on what it is we're doing. I'll, I'll label this as well so that we don't lose track of what it is. That's the 105 proposed contour finished grade. Now we know that everything beyond this white line on both sides is going to be at a 3 to 1 slope. So let's put in some of those contours. <clears throat> the next line that we want to see is the 104. With a 3 to 1 slope, that means we're going to offset 3 feet from the 105. So let's do that. There's the 104. There's the 104. Now we want to show the 102. Only this time we have a 2 foot change in vertical elevation going from the 104 to the 102, which means we have to offset 6 feet. We know we don't need to show the 100 proposed contour because we determined uh, from working with the flatbed that we didn't need it. And because this field is sloping with the existing terrain, it's actually going to meet the existing terrain long before the flatbed did. So if we didn't need it there, we won't need it now. So what we have is the 105, 104, 102 contour. Now let's deal with the slope over the field itself. Now because you're the designer and you've placed your field 
you already have calculated what this slope is, but I haven't. So let's do it. There's the 103 contour, and I'm just going to measure horizontally to the 102, and we can see we have a almost 17 feet horizontal distance for every one foot drop in elevation. And we're not going to talk about how to calculate slope, but you'll just remember rise over run is how you get to what is the slope. And this works out to approximately 5.8% slope. Um, so just to keep it simple, we're going to use a bed slope of 5%. But already notice, you should be thinking ahead. We're looking for where is the 104 contour going to fall? Well, we can already see that we need almost 17 feet of horizontal distance to drop one vertical foot. So the 104 contour looks like it's going to be well beyond the edge of that five foot border. But just so that we can follow through with the methodology, let's measure the distance from the 105 to the limit or that 5 foot border fill extension. And it's 13 and a half feet. So, sure enough, our 104 is going to fall inside of the 3 to 1 sloping zone. But before we can show where it is accurately, we need to calculate what the elevation of the fill, the finished grade, is at this point, which is five feet beyond the edge of the pipe. Well, I've already done that, so I'm just going to type it in here so that we can see it and use it from this point forward. But it isn't actually going to be on our final plan. It's just there so that we know what the number is. So now we have enough information to continue with this process of placing the proposed or finished grading contours. So from this point onward, we're going to be at a 3 to 1 slope. So we want to show the 104 contour. This line represents 104.33. So 0.33 times 3 is so close to 1 foot, we're going to use 1 foot. So we need to change 1 feet horizontally to drop that 0.33, which represents now the 104 contour. Change that back to the purple because we're actually going to use that. And now we're going to also show the 102. Offset this time six feet because we're going to drop two vertical feet, which means we need six horizontal feet. So we now have the 104 and the 102 shown downslope of the field. Now the last task we have is to actually join these lines. How do they actually come together to finish this picture?